We rested for one night and swiftly resumed our travel back to the far north. With the most powerful overlord gone for good, the undead creatures and their masters roaming about the mountains proved to be little more than an occasional nuisance. A few cultists dared to challenge Malkir Shah on repeated occasions, but none of them were an appropriate match for his power, however weakened he might be after all these years. Naturally, their lives were cut short by their futile boldness. Some of those who witnessed our combined force hastened to offer us shelter and provisions to make it across the long pass. A handful of young acolytes even went as far as to inquire about joining Malkishar's own sizable cult of followers. None of us particularly objected to the motion, but we all agreed to keep them under careful observation. After many days, our trip finally came to an end. We were back in the northern country, safe and away from Strife's grasp. Or so it seemed at first. Episode 1, Scenario 3 of After the Storm, Civil War in the North. I don't like this. There are signs of a recent battle in this area. Quickly, let us investigate what happened here. I hope it's not too late. Okay. Objective is to move to Fort Eldain, wherever that is. And if my heroes die, I lose. So let's go. What can we see? Can't see anything. I've only got four turns, so there's no point slacking. Still can't see anything. Alright. Oh, there it looks like we've got something fort-like ahead of us. Should I grab the village when I'm on my way? I, I think I should. I want some income. What does it say? The objective is move and... Okay, they all have to go. Alright. I can grab the others later. This one looks trashed, but it's still a village. I always think these mills are villages. Every single time I play a campaign, I think this mill is going to do something other than just sit there and look pretty. But no, all it does is sit there and look pretty. <clears throat> all right, Galas. Who are you? Why do you bring your unholy slaves to feast on our fallen remains? We are sworn allies of the people of the far north, and the undead support us against our enemies. That's... that's the Lady of Light! I had heard rumours, but this is... This fortress barely stands. What vile creatures have come to plague the northern country? The elves, my lady. The elves have gone mad and are attacking each other, laying waste to every settlement in their path. Neither faction is willing to seek a peaceful end to this conflict, and we don't think we can withstand our siege for much longer. Most of our men have died defending the city walls, and resources are increasingly scarce. We cannot continue without help, and the messengers we sent to the Grand Council for reinforcements have not returned yet. I'll probably hate myself for the rest of my life for asking help from those who deal with dark magic, but... Pfft, we cannot waste our time here! We must help these poor people and try to negotiate a deal with our kinsmen. We must not allow another civil war to tear our civilization apart. Otherwise... Our sacrifices would have been in vain. We'll help you defend your fortress until those reinforcements arrive. Thank you. Lead us, my lord. Oh, I've got control of all these units now. That's exciting. Um, this scenario is going to be... A bit of a clusterfuck, I guess. Um, <laughs> these human defenders won't be able to recall them in later scenarios, so there's no point leveling them up particularly. Um... 19 turns, it's a resist scenario, so it's going to be a long, slow one. And my heroes have to survive, no one else 
does. Gallus, um, oh yeah, everyone's perched in their in their zone, and the villagers have already been been captured for me. That's nice. Um, no, no early finish bonus, so that's predictable because I have to survive till the end. Forty percent of gold carried over to the next scenario. Uh, oh, okay. Friendly unit sighted. So there's an elven champion up here. Um, up here on the right, there isn't anything. There's just some scarecrows and some farms. Owned by a black player who doesn't seem to be on the map, which is interesting. So I suspect what will happen is that this square here is going to turn into... Or th maybe this square, probably this one, will turn into a camp at some stage and another player will appear. All right, and then over here we've got an Elvish Avenger. And uh, yeah, so the objective is survival. Now, usually with survival scenarios, my strategy is spam weak units because they can form a wall. Um, and with undead, that's very doable. So first of all, everyone should come back. Um, the, quest the other question, of course, is how, what, what exactly do I defend? Um, do I try and defend these outer river ramparts? Um, and I think the answer, at least for now, is yes, I should try to. So, I'm going to move some units up here. There are lots of castles, that's nice. I can, you can recruit from lots of different places. We've got footpaths, we've got peasants, we've got a whole smorgasbord of weak humans. You are not long for this world, my friend. So, got quite a bit of money for this. Um, against elves. Probably going to want some sprites. Definitely going to want some ghosts. Dark adepts, I think. I don't like them in survival scenarios. They don't tend to be strong there. Um, so I'm going to go for skeletons, skeleton archers, ghosts and sprites mostly. Against, el against elves, the skeletons, the normal skeletons are pretty good um, because they've got a nice big blade attack so uh, going to go heavy on them. Okay, these six are going to go west. Um, that's east, isn't it? Yeah, they're going to go east. I don't like abandoning all these villages, but I think I'm going to have to. Because this guy's already this far forward. So pull back, pull back. And Galas. Um, oh, what are you guys going to go? You, sh you should head up this way. I think I'm going to split you. Um, you just stay... Where you are for now, go there, and you can come up here, and then that just leaves you, Budik the Peasant, you can go north too. And now, Galas, you can recruit some more skeletons. I'm going to go for ghosts and sprites in later turns, because they're a bit more valuable, I don't want them to be on the front front lines, and they're faster moving as well. Lots of bowmen up here, so I can go slightly heavier on the normal skeletons. And what have we got? We've got... None of these units are particularly a threat to Malkesha, apart from this Enchantress. She's going to be an irritating one when she comes along, but it's going to take her a while, so... We'll put Malkeshar well, this way, and Elinia can come over here. Oh, what about you? Got a bowman, an extra bowman. I think the north flank is probably going to need a little bit more, so you go north. Anyone else? Oh, we've got an elf down here. Where did you come from? Cheeky little bastard. Okay, well, well okay. Uh, 
and I've moved all my units away. Ah, well, okay, you, you'll grab a village, I guess, or you'll just march straight forward to your doom. Either way, it's not too much of a problem. Oh, what? The elves are fighting each other? This is mental. So I want the blue elves to win on the green flank, and I want the I'm, I'm rooting for the blue elves on the green flank and the green elves on the blue flank. Go elves! Get those elves! Well, that'll slow down their assault somewhat. But once they've dealt with each other, I guess that's when they come. And they're not going to stop, because this is a survival scenario, they're not going to stop soon. Sweet. Alright, hopefully green can deal with that enchantress. Oh wow, they've got a marshal. Okay, green brings out the big guns, by which I mean level 1 troops. If they can take this guy down, that would be a real... A real win. That's looking good. Marshal that. much elf on elf action. This will be a long, long scenario. <laughs> Tempted to turn up the mood, movement speed, but that is not my way. We're still finding things to attack. Yes, you little bugger, you just got my village. Who is it that helps the human sub-people defend their town against the true rulers of the forest? I am Galas, an elf of the Valley of Elia, like you. What is the reason for this unnecessary bloodshed? We are at war with those who have taken the life of Lord Enodian and his successor. Are you supporters of their foul cause too? You know me well, Unide. I would not support anyone, elf or otherwise, who would threaten the life of our leaders and our civilization. However, you are not doing any good by murdering innocent humans and elves. There must be a way to solve this problem without resorting to fighting. In these grim times, with war already raging in the outer lands, the last thing we need is conflict between ourselves as well. It will be our definitive doom. The traitors must be judged by elvish law, not by chaos and death. Who do you think you are to give me orders? I am in charge of our people now, and I do not listen to those who ally themselves with this worthless human scum and their foul dark sorcerers. Diplomacy isn't going to work, of course. This petty elf has a death wish. Avoid killing their leaders at all costs. If we want to solve this conflict, we'll need the Grand Council to negotiate with the faction leaders. And without them, I fear that their successors might incite an even worse bloodshed. I only wish we could stop our kinsmen without resorting to violence. As it seems now, there is no other option for us than to hold out against their troops until help arrives. To arms! Okay. Same objective, nothing has changed other than this guy. Um, gonna send Alinea down to deal with him, I think she's the best place to do that. 
So, have her sitting on this tree. Anyone else reach? Oh, you can reach. All right. Wah, wah. You come down and help. Uh, at least it's the daytime, so you're actually quite good in this situation. Still can't get this guy off his stupid house. Ooh, me, treating the humans as if their lives are worthless? No, never. I die for our people. Ooh. Ah, great. Now we are killing other elves. Can't get that village back this turn. I need to defend over here. Some of these guys can come down and help out. You can fight this horseman. Where can you go? You can only go there, you can only go there. Okay, so it's a choice between you and you. I'll use you... yeah. You do Pierce. That Pierce is good against these guys. Two hits. Oh yeah, let's see if I can level any of these guys up. That would be a power play. You guys head out. And over here, I think I can just sit tight. In fact, I might not actually recruit this turn because there's not any. I might. It might be better for me to save my money, and wait till next turn as far as recruitment is concerned. So who can I get off the front lines? Um, I want everyone off the front lines who doesn't at least have a ranged attack. You guys can't reach me yet, but I will need to prepare for this. Okay, so you... I mean, you, you've got a ranged attack, but it's pathetic, so... Bring you back. And you, because it's not daytime. This is a lovely spot, because anyone who attacks me from three sides is going to have to be surrounded by water. And... Gallus, you just sit tight for now. You'll probably need, uh, we'll need you to churn out some more troops in a bit. But there's no point over recruiting in this scenario, because even if I can kill the leaders, I don't want to. Um, but I might as well save my recruitment until I start coming for us in earnest. Sorry, just conked the microphone there. Alright, it's 1336. green.
Go blue! Okay, blue is starting to think about coming in my direction. Go green! Green's not doing too badly up there. Oh, not here. Don't go green here. Go blue! Go green! Okay, this joke's getting boring now. Alright, so green has managed to wipe out the blue on that flank. That's nice. Maybe that sorceress will be uh, persuaded to take a step away from Malkay. Captain is sneaking across the river at a sneaky, sneaky crossing point. <clears throat> Gotta sort that out. Might be smart to get a couple of bats and try and grab those villages in the north. No one seems to be going there. No luck. It's dusk, so I can send some undead up that way. Probably better rather than wasting swordsmen. And only you can reach me. And you can only reach me on the. Th only on these two, so I'm going to pull you back and put Malkesha in the driver's seat. You go there, just because it looks cool. Pull this skeleton away and go in this direction. Everyone else is being slow. Going to recruit some ghosts because it's night time what have I actually got in way of recalls at the moment a few level 2 units I've got wraiths and shadows um, it will probably be worth leveling them up sooner rather than later might be tempting to recall them in this scenario and I really would like this dark adept to be leveled up, one of these three at least. They're all doing well, because if I can get some necromancers and liches then the rest of the campaign will be much easier. For now though I'm just going to go for a three ghost grab bag over here, <clears throat> then go back to this castle, get a couple of ghosts, And a couple of bats who can go north as well. Because you, you, they'll make their money back very quickly if they start flying around capturing villages. Uh, neither of them are quick, which is sad. Okay, what's going on down here? You're doing well. Yeah. Alright, you stand there, get some health. Ah, oh, bless me. <clears throat> what can I do to make you easier to kill? How fast are you guys? Okay, the um, the horseman can, the very very weak horseman can reach my lines, but no one else can this turn. So I'm gonna use you to. Yeah, alright, try that. You shouldn't kill him, unless you're lucky. No, luck was definitely not on the cards for you. And 
now for you. Oh yeah, all right. You're one point away from a level. Um, you step back. Don't want you to be attacked by the rider. Not that I think that's likely, but... And Alinea, you can come here and heal these guys up. Also you. Looks good. Maybe just push you up north. You guys are barely wounded and you can get your health back by fighting. Alright. Blue should mostly be able to mop up during this turn, I think. Depending on where he sends his unit. On that flank, at least. This is the silliest mission. We are verily in the silliest timeline. Interesting, that blue guy's going for a suicide run. And blue seems to have more or less given up on the units over there on the flank, and uh, <laughs> blue does not seem tempted to come in and attack Malkeshar. That's a shame. Well, I can get some skeleton archers up onto those ramparts next turn, so uh, it'll be pretty difficult for them to strike. Alright, down goes the ranger. The one rather tricky thing about all this happening is that some of these units are going to arrive on my shores with some experience and I have to make sure they don't level up. Nice! Hey! That's just rude. match. Okay, green is still not really interested in fighting me, even though there's only one weak fighter on the green flank. But what's good is it looks like green's run out of money, at least for now. Has blue run out of money? Um, possibly not yet, but green has a larger camp than blue, so green can recruit more heavily. Alright, let's get in there and uh, give this captain a good smackdown. Is this, is this captain... this is Civil War, so is this Captain America? Lol. You can't reach. Sad. Again, only only one of these guys is actually close. The ghosts can block him in. Ghosts aren't very good against this guy. He's pretty good. He's he's strong, which is an annoying trait. Oh, Galas can, uh, Galas can do a bit of damage himself. Let's see if Galas can... Uh, he, does, he doesn't have his leadership um, that he will sometimes have if he's a marshal in, uh, in Invasion from the Unknown, but he, in my version of Invasion from the Unknown, he's a champion anyway, so that doesn't matter. Um, okay, so no leadership, so you just come in 
I'm getting confused because the enemy does have leadership. Useless. All right, Galas, you can do better. Yeah. Yeah, you whack that guy. I want to get the bats somewhere where they can start doing interesting things. I thought you can reach up to the edge of the ocean on that side, so I don't really want to go there. Uh, I think up here is the most sensible immediate direction. And maybe you can, in fact, go around and... Uh... No, you, you go there. If, if the... Um... If the if this guy really wants to throw himself away on that flank, then that's that's actually okay. I can live with that. Here, I want to step back a bit. I think if I do that, yeah, this this one is not going to reach me. And then I can just stick a linear over here in the forest, and all of her friends can gather round. And get healing. Oh, this looks good. You go this way. And you ghosts, you stay. Um, no, you can move up behind as well. Yeah. Right, gotta take care of this flank, but first let's just put you into a decent position. Is there anything that I really don't want this guy to take? Only, only villages, and they'll get there eventually. So I'll just stick you on that tree. Okay, on this flank we've got the sorceress can't reach anything, that archer can only reach Mal, so can that archer, so can this fighter. These guys can't reach anything, and yeah, this this marksman can, can only reach Mal. So I'm going to leave things as they are on this flank, just back you up, back you forward a bit. Um, doesn't seem useful for you to be there, so I'm going to bring you over here. There's no way for the elves to cross the river west of these rubble, this rest, west of these uh, stepping stones. And bring the ghost up in reserve. And that's a wrap. Okay, green has been wiped out on the blue flank, and blue has been wiped out on the green flank. But blue doesn't seem to want to come south and attack me across the bridge, and that is fine by me, I just don't recruit any more units. Since I don't get an early finish bonus here, the only way I'm gonna... Oh, they are going for the bat. Okay. You bastards. The AI does like getting kills. We know this. So I've only got one bat now. I didn't think they were going to do it. No, I didn't think they were going to do it. But they did it. Should have presented them with maybe a more tempting target down south. Okay, nothing is going to stop you now. Can you get to that house? Can you get to that house? No. Okay, you go there next turn. 
someone here can get some experience and that someone should be Galas. Now that I've done that, I can't recruit any units this turn. I'm actually okay with that, because I wasn't going to anyway. Now I just need to figure out how to get rid of this stupid rider in the forest. And I think probably the best bet is to use Linear. And maybe this skeleton can come around this side. Rubbish. All right. Thorns or Mystic Fire? Thorns or Mystic Fire? Probably the Mystic Fire is going to be more reliably damage-inducing. Good. A few... Cu couple of archers, a couple of horsemen can get here, so... Hmm. Not as, not as effective as I'd have liked. Still probably the best bet. Maybe I should go in with a ghost first. Right, you're very close to being dead. Shame you can't get in and get the kill. Who do I want to, to get experience? I was going to give you the kill, I don't know why. Just puts you in a bad position, doesn't it? Though you can get attacked by archers. And there's no advantage to it, so I'm going to give someone who deserves the kill, the kill. Such as this guy. There we go, beautiful 16 experience, nice shot in the arm. And everyone else can get into position for the assault that is coming. You stay where you are. You come down here. Okay, and you go back to the... I think actually, I mean, the blue player seems so reluctant to cross the river that maybe he's just going to sit here and just perch forever, because um, they just don't seem to want to, to fight Malkeshar. Um, I get that, you know, I, I sympathise. Um, but if, as long as he perches here, I don't have to do anything on this flank at all. So I'll send you this way, because I will, I will have things to kill next turn. could do with another bat, unless I use this ghost to go and get houses. Yeah, why not? I've got enough units. How far can people reach up here? All the way to the waterline. And then some, so you go around. Oh, I didn't spot that you could range. Ah, blue. Well, this is this is you know this is how I wanted it to be. Blue, are you going for a sneaky flank? You really don't want to fight Malkashar that much. Okay, now you're coming. Now you're coming across the river. All right, now I'm going to have to fight. Yeah, I'm going to get some horsey horsies attacking me across the river. That's annoying. Well, I can just block them with undead. The bodies will pile high, the river will run red. The AI really has no idea what to do with elvish horse units. It's just like, well, let's run straight in. <laughs> That's what they're good at. They're fast, so they can see enemies, so they can attack enemies. Wow, you seem... Oh, they're going up here because Galas is up here. That's why. I always follow the hero. Follow the leader. You go there. Ah, you can be ranged by this one elvish scout. Oh, no. 
Don't get killed, please. Um, you um, can't go in deep water annoyingly. And if I put you in that nearest patch of forest, or I can put you there, then only one person can reach you. It's probably for the best. And then Galas needs to head south. Um, unfortunately, heading south isn't actually what I really want to do right now. Because there are elves coming at me, don't you know? And I need to fight them off in this forest. <laughs> Elinia doing very well here at not taking damage. So it's full daylight now, so um, perhaps the answer is to rush out with some of my expendable human units. It's tempting to stick you on here so that these guys actually basically try and attack you and do some damage to themselves in the process. I'm gonna try and fight this champ. More like chump, am I right? What am I even talking about? This is a this is a captain, he's not a champion. You guys can't now reach the action. You can't reach the action. You can reach the action. Um, don't want to throw you away like that though. All right, um, you can go into the water, that's fine. We will get killed, but that's also fine. I'd quite like you to come up here, but I think what I'm going to do with you is just stick you here and have you attack the captain. Not quite a kill, not far off. I could... Um, Ah, uh, no. You guys are rubbish. Gonna need more units on this flank. Definitely gonna need more units on this flank. This ghost is gonna go heal. You come north and shoot at this scout. You come north and shoot at this scout because I don't want you attacking a linear. Gonna bring you up here because you'll be useful for dealing piercey pierce damage. And... Since the fiercest fighting is up here, Gonna stick some folks there. Gallus, if. Oh no! Oh no. Don't want to move you there because I want Gallus to go there because I want Gallus to recruit. Just a bat. You can't reach the turret, that's good. You can't reach the turret, that's good. Maybe if this guy is here looking all vulnerable, Blue will leave well enough alone. And actually, if these guys cross over, I can leave the flank to fight amongst themselves. That could be quite fun. Yeah, I thought blue and green's fighting days amongst each other were over, but they are not. Hmm. Okay. So maybe you come out here. Um, yeah, you can't get attacked by shamans, so you just go there. So, so tempting. Not gonna do it.
Gonna move Gala south because I want to slightly reorient the enemy's attack focus towards the south. Okay, what's going on over here? Um, so I'm gonna get more attacks than only this turn, that's fine. Move you back. Put you in a position to do a ton of damage. Or just a moderate amount of damage. You will also be good in this situation. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this side is, should be safe. Um, Who have I got coming in? I've got a fighter. I've got two, but not three, shamans. I've got an archer. I've got potentially one more fighter. Um, question is whether to leave Malkeshar here, knowing that he's going to get fairy fire next turn. How much damage does she do? Um, she could do a lot of damage, but not kill him. So I'm not super worried just yet. I'm going to use him. That was pretty weak, so I'll bring out a, someone strong, like you. Okay, so you're almost dead, and to prevent you from running away and healing, I'm going to sacrifice a bowman. Oh, rip. But actually, hmm, only one person can get in here. Only, other than this archer, only one person can get in and fight the Bowman because no one can go into deep water. So this is actually a pretty good defensive spot. And uh, yeah, you could be a shoe in for a level up soon. Okay, reorient a bit towards the north. Get everyone into better defensive positions. Uh, you come back, you come forward, and we are good, I think. Yeah. Stupid, stupid horseman. Go away. Go away. Well, there I was talking about you getting a level. That's what comes of it. At least now I can uh, whack the enchantress without losing any good units. And the bat and the ghost seem to have been ignored by the blue player, which is also good. Trouble with this northern defensive flank. Is that the forest is right in front. your job to perfection, didn't you? That little bowman on his house? Some healing, and the bat is home free. So... Where can you get to next turn? I don't know who this black player is, but they're going to be so pissed when they arrive and all of their villages belong to us. Sorry, all of their villages are belong to us. Got to do correct grammar in this day and age. Oh, I'm going to do the left flank first. Big, big change of, change of perspective. Um, start with you. <coughs> Get the kill, nice. It's the daytime, so it's not exactly Malkeshar's strongest time, but it looks like only two units can range him. 
So as long as I don't collapse on this flank, we should be good. I'm gonna bring you back, put you there. And then maybe get an undead unit to get the kill. Maybe a ghost should do it. There's nothing here that can kill ghosts now. Um, you, it would be nice if you could get some health. You, you can't reach, you've been slowed that badly. Um, and then I need to put Bowman on the shore. To prevent myself from getting overrun. With a Russian accent, apparently. And you will die, actually, won't you? Oh, you can go into the forest. Why would you do that, though? Um... If if they if they really want to, they can go for this footpad. They, they like attacking footpads because foot, footpads have low health, even though they have high defense, and that's a little bit of a red flag to the AI. I am going to need more units on this flank because green is coming at me fast and hard, like a steam train or something. So I'll pull back to this defensive frontier. I'm gonna go down here, recruit some more units. Skeleton archers all the way. Maybe a sprite, just the one. Um, you pick off this irritating dude. Yeah. Now he's you're gonna you're gonna die with great great honor. And I'm gonna leave blue and green to sort each other out on this flank by just noping out and hopping back. So I don't want the uh, ideally don't want the undead on the front lines during the day. Pull you back. How far you can't pull all the way back, but you can go onto the tower. You go there. I don't really want you guys on the front lines either. Um, and the bat. Uh, the bat has missed its chance to go north, I think. Maybe there will be another chance. Or maybe I can go around. Let's see, these guys are going to cross the river. And when all of the horsemen are dead, I'll have more mobility. That get healed up. You can come down here. It's not a great spot, but you're hard to kill. And you you go back here. Alright, I've got a good defensive line. There are some creatures that have that are undefended against ranged attacks on the front line, which is a shame. I can hopefully change that up a bit. Regardless north. And this flank unusually has already been dealt with, so it is the end of the turn. Alright, ten more turns of this nonsense. Yeah, that's what I'm after. I mean, oh no, elves are killing themselves, what a terrible tragedy, yada yada. So pointless. Slow all the spearmen! Okay, good. The blue players are jumping right in. Oh, you're going back. Okay. <laughs> oh. Rip. Press F in the chat to pay respects. 
good. That was an experienced one. As are both of these two, actually. Oi, enough of that. The situation is not improving. If those reinforcements don't arrive soon, we won't be able to hold this place for much longer. Oh, Galas. Such a negative Nelly. I don't know about that. Okay, we're doing well over here. You go and get this one next turn. You go and get that one next turn. I just, I, I want to plot those moves in because they don't affect anything else and because otherwise I will forget. But uh, yeah, whoever the black player is, no money for them. And lots of money for me. Hmm. Green player here isn't recruiting. Seems to have run out of uh, run out of juice a bit. Um, it's good because it's daytime and I've got humans. It is tempting to pull forward a bit, um, especially. But then again, this down here is is quite weak because I've got mostly undead. I can't recruit humans. It's a dilemma. But I'm going to allow Alinea to have a little fun, I think. So you come out here. Oh. Oh, that wasn't great, but on the other hand, Alinea hasn't taken any damage all game. She's... Uh, She's enjoying herself, I think. Okay, I'll stick someone next to you who will distract fire. This... Swordsman. Who instantly kills! Instantly owns! Well, some of these horsemen can get around, gonna be careful with that. Maybe put some put some ghosts there on, on the far flank to block things off. You come back here. Um, you just come out here. Oh, you're good. I oh, don't want you to die. Okay, we need to kill this guy. We need to kill this guy post haste. Not brilliant. Try and use this guy. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. And now you can get your just desserts. Perfect. Now I've only this is this is I think um, the only way for me to get a poacher in this campaign. Um, so rather than just having more bowmen. Uh, should I get a poacher? It's daytime though. Poachers are pretty weak during the day. Um, <laughs> it would be cool to. It would be cool to have a. This is this is my last of these little bowman dudes. So this is my last opportunity to get a poacher. But I think I'm going to throw it away and go for a bowman instead. They are. I mean, they are better, basically. They're less good in woods, but I'm not going to be in woods. Okay, we've got a nice human defense line here. It's the Human League. Don't you want the baby? Hmm. And down here we can stick around with some, some undead to defend. And this one quick sprite who's going to be a very easy death if I'm not careful. She can only get attacked by an archer and a shaman, and she's got decent defense on this terrain, so she should be okay, and then these guys can tank some attacks. I'll be able to... everyone will pull north a bit if I move Galas north, so I'll do that. Because the enemy is dumb. 
Horsey horses are almost almost done with their job. So I could put the bat in the river here, and it wouldn't be attackable by anyone. Yep, perfect. And blue and green can continue to duke it out up here at the crossing. Actually, I don't know why these bats are going over here anymore. I've got all the villages. Maybe I can start to nick blues as well. Or maybe just draw units away. All right. The right flank is mostly secure. I just need to make it a little more secure. I'm going to put you there. Um, bring a ghost over here. You guys just love slowing. Um, you're looking good. You could kill this archer very easily. Okay, but you don't, and instead Malkeshar does. Without taking damage. Good. Gotta watch out for you, your experience. If you fight Malkeshar a few times, you'll level up. You go back, you go there, you go there, attack you. Can... Oh, you can't quite get down there. No one else can get around to here, so there's no point you hanging around there. Bring you down here for next time. Even slowed, I can still do damage to you. And then I'll stick you there because you've got good defense, even though it's daytime. And then just in on the very, very off chance, I'll bring you up. All right. I think I've got this. I think I've got this. Fingers crossed. The linear might take some damage this turn. Well, let's see. This particular engagement um, on the uh, on the northern front, green is in a very much stronger position with all these archers in the woods. Uh -huh. Oh, having said that, oh, we don't do that. All right, blue's experienced horseman is here. Oh, what? Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, that's not a horseman that's long for this world. There we go. Should be mostly done. Ow! Mostly done with level 2 units coming for me, though. Actually, what's left that's level 2? Um, there's this horseman. So green has a level 2 horseman, has a couple of rangers who ha are hanging around on guard, um, and has a captain over here who I would quite like to kill because the captain is beefing up all the level 1 units, but I don't think there's much I can do about it. Maybe blue can make more of a dent. Um, over here, there's a, a sorceress and a druid who aren't moving, who, and a champion uh, hero over here. Um, and I guess they're all on guard duty. And up to the front lines, everything's level 1, so that's nice. 
this bat's not going to be hugely useful um, otherwise, so I'm going to come around here. Ah, oh, could be cool. Um, <laughs> what? what? Okay, always one less rider is a good thing. That's going to take you a few turns. And you can come back. Um... It's a shame that these guys are here. It's going to make it harder to steal Green's villages. I don't, I don't want to lose my ghost, so... Um, I'll just generically use you to head back in this direction, I guess, for now. All right, which flank am I going to deal with first? Right-hand side is looking very messy now. We're getting to dusk. Uh, my spearmen are starting to level up, but my human units on this side are starting to collapse like... Uh, um, like hotcakes? Do hotcakes collapse? No, not really. You don't want to be there. You definitely don't want to be there. You put a normal skeleton archer there, though it's not strictly necessary. Might help from help Melkeshar not get overwhelmed. Uh, you is it even worth trying to keep you alive, or should I just suicide you on the nearest enemy? Oh, you're right next to this guy who's in the water. I get you get eighty percent attack on him. Do it, do it, do it. Ah oh, well, tit for tat. Uh, but now, <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy. Eh, uh, pants. Yep, very much tempting to get around there with a the ghost and see if I can deal the death blow. There we go, and now only one person can fight that ghost anyway. Not much use being strong if you can't hit, is it? You stay where you are, get two hit points. You come... No, you stay where you are as well. This guy... <laughs> I mean... Well, yeah, whatever really. Um... And then you, you can... Um... You can even head back over this flank, because I think with Nightfall and Malkashar on that flank, I've got it covered. So you go there. My humans are getting very beaten up. And I don't want to sacrifice them all, because there's still a lot of green units here. Green seems to be a substantially stronger player than blue. I don't know if they've just played better or what, but... Uh, I don't know. Nice! Okay, you go back to there. Okay, you're looking nice and juicy weak for the uh, for the green player to take out. Still um, would like so you go and heal. No one's no one's down here. Just this just this one shaman who's hanging onto a house. So Alinea, you stay. Sacrilege! Someone actually hit Alinea. Oh dear. Are these the end times? Oh. 
Okay, I'm going to put you on the house just for lulls so that you can lure some more units to damage themselves. You'll probably get slowed, but still. Uh, you... yeah. Um... You come down here. I don't have... Yeah, okay, well, when, when everyone's being blocked like this, it doesn't matter if I don't hold this rampart. Could get some experience with Galas here. They will go for him. They'll be very happy to see that I put my leader up on the wall. And he's not that tough, so maybe not. What about you? Can't quite do it in one jab. Not in the daytime you would be able to. What about you? Yeah, you could do it. Cool. And then you go there. And then you can come here. And you go there and heal. Gallus. Gallus is going to be the sort of back line of defense over here. And I'll take this one archer along with him. And this ghost can go into a position where it's more central. Could I? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, not great, but not terrible. This flank's okay. My bat and, and friends have done their jobs, so time to move. Kill the experienced fighter. Yes. Kill the experienced marksman! Kill it with leadership! Ah, oh, come on. Oh, that was cool. Okay, whatever. Darkness falls. My ghosts and bats head in the direction that they need to be going. You come back down here and join the fight. Okay, left hand flank is really kind of a mop up job now. Um, kind of wondering whether I should just jump out and kill everything. I think the answer is no, because. There might be some, I mean, there's, you know, there's, there's no reason to butcher elves pointlessly. Um, just leave my valuable undead units off the front lines. Well, no, it, it's night time, so they can be on the front lines. Alright, you get health. Everyone else can more or less stay put. Maybe not you. Um, or maybe not you. Um... But yeah, you stay put. We'll stay put. Just, just stay put. In. Uh, except you. And I'm going to put you on the front lines. So I got a bunch of humans, and yeah, yeah, humans on the front lines. And then this guy. Hopefully, lure someone out to come stand next to Malkeshar and meet their doom. Okay, that's that flank. This flank... Blue is looking in a terrible position. Green, unfortunately, is still quite strong. So what can I do with green? Some fire damage. And can we get a ranged shot in there as well? Oh, that could so easily have been a kill. Not today. You shoot the archer who's standing. He's got his ass wide open. 
as they say. Now this is the point where <laughs> where it does feel rather cruel. Uh. Well, obviously Gallus wasn't in the mood for killing a defenseless shaman, so you, Gallus, then can can stay where he is. Humans stay where you are as well. You go in for a very, very weak axe attack. You get this kill. Nice. And now I can start to sort of reel it in a bit on this flank. Good, the experienced marksman did not prevail. And I'm, I've got an opening here on the champion, on the, 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 calling him the champion. This guy maybe is a champion. He's a captain. We're going to kill him. With skeletons! Sweet. All right, I don't think I can kill him in one, but uh, I can get pretty close. And then maybe blue. Oh no, blue's dead on this flank. I just killed blue. Blue, why won't you help me? Because I killed you. Uh, okay. Okay, you are now a paper towel. And I can drop a ghost here. It shouldn't die. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> you could get the kill if you're really lucky. Um, that's quite amusing, but no. Still, maybe not so much point keeping these elves, these humans alive much longer. Now this guy is sticking in there. Aha, aha! <laughs> you try and kill my bat, I'm gonna try and kill you! Don't! Alright fellows, this is going swimmingly, what what? Um, would, if it wasn't, if it was the daytime I'd bring you out. It's not the daytime so you're going to stay where you are. Sprite's the kind of unit where, yeah, I mean they cost 20 gold so you can always recall them. houses have been taken. Oh, poor little bunny. Okay, now... Alright, left flank. This guy needs to die. I got lucky with your bow there, mate, didn't you? And you... 
Uh, I don't know why I keep getting I keep getting the kills with my um, uh, with my human troops rather than with my elves. It's a tactical error, really. Um, so. Rather than with my undead. What if I keep saying the wrong thing? Okay, so you can be shot by a couple of archers there. Maybe I should put someone human in the way to just... Uh, um... Okay, random aggro from this guy. Alright, he will die next turn. This guy will probably also die next turn. Hopefully the ghost won't. That's what I'm hoping. Maybe I can even make that more likely by protecting him with a skeleton in deep water. Yeah, there we go. Now only one person can range him. You stay where you are. All of you, you go to the to the house, and everyone else stick around. You haven't even got an experience yet. Glad I didn't recruit more units. <clears throat> All right, right flank. Shaman is still in her little hidey hole. It's still long dark. Um, you are in a good place. Once again, stick a cheeky human in the way to hopefully stop my archer from getting killed. Oh, that was rubbish. I mean, you guys might as well get killed as well now. Sorry, lady, but... Yep, you cannot be allowed to have that house. That is my house. Ah, oh, house! And I'm going to plonk this sprite in the woodlands. And maybe do some... F nah, not worth it. All right, up, up here. <clears throat> you're close to a level, and if you can kill the champion, you'll get the level, and that would actually be really cool. So I'm gonna try it, probably lose you. Yep. Ah, oh, shame. Uh, what about you? You will be close to a level if you can get the kill too. Uh, also a shame. You can come here. And then... You... There we go. Get Mr. I'm going to stand on sand. Kill! Yeah, there we go. And then you, maybe. Perfect. We've got our first Bane uh, bow shooter from this scenario. Bone shooter. Um, don't have much to hold this flank. This guy is looking a bit knackered. He's going to... So, Withdraw you back to here. And then... Teoven the peasant can try and stab this lady. Just 
Job's a good one. Oh, uh, yeah. I love it, the, um, the animation that the shamans make when they're trying to attack someone with the staff. I know it's a staff, but it looks like they're trying to nut someone, which would also deal a small amount of impact damage, so... Kind of lol. Okay, you're going over here. You're coming back to the fight very, very slowly. And there are green units starting to trickle out. Um, my right hand flank is not looking super healthy now. Up here we're going good, up down here less so. Um, so, what can we do? You're damaged, you want, you've got some experience, just one. So you could go back and get healing. Let's see, let's try and... Let's do the left hand flank first, because it's easier. You're nearly dead. Can you try and conk one of these people who's in deep water. You try and conk the shaman. Or oh, maybe, yeah, no, everyone's, everyone's strong enough to kill you in one hit, unfortunately. So yeah, conk the shaman. Ah, he who wishes to conk must first be conked. Hmm. <clears throat> Throw some more gold units away. Get a kill and get a level. This is kind of the opposite of my aim of throwing units away, but the wraith is definitely worth it. And then you. Not quite a kill. Can you just nip in there and donk? Yeah. Good. Everyone else stay where you are for now. And then over here, you should be part of the main line of defense. They're going to use you to try and clear out these ramparts. You do not manage to do so, which is fine. Nice kill for you. You go up there. You come around here. Hmm, not brilliant. I was hoping to use you to get this kill. And there it is. Two Bane Bows. Bone Shooters. Everything's Bane. Everything's Bane if you're George. You need to go and heal. Put you there, put you there. Your linear. Quite like to kill this guy. Being in that tower makes you pretty well defended, huh? Well, see how you like being swarded. And then axed. Oh. 
All right, you now very experienced. You ghosts, if I put you down here, might just bite off more than you can chew. And again, ghosts are not throwaway units. Not in the same way, at least not in general. Not in the same way as... Uh, as other undead can be. Ah, oh, one more good hit like that. Uh, don't kill anyone, you. I don't want you to kill anyone. You probably don't want you to do anything. Maybe you can do this. Yeah, that was worth it. Gala, stay where you are. You... You're too slow, you're too slow, you're too slow. You wouldn't be too slow. No, not worried about you. Okay, a bit more worried about you now. Uh, bat and ghost, everyone has moved. left hand flank, please kill my units. Oh, here, here we go. Oh no. Oh nice. Oh, oh no, actually that's good because again it saved me money. So on this flank, the human defenders have mostly survived. On this flank, the human defenders have mostly been made into mincemeat, but the two swordsmen are still alive, which is cool. Uh, <laughs> you're doing well. I was hoping I could run out and get some of my units killed, but ins instead I seem to have been very successful. Well, that's fine. Okay, how about over here? Need to get you out of a spot of bother. Uh, quite like to get you killed. And... Gonna go for a revenant. I can't have the uh, Death Baron, Death Knight line of units, which is a bit sad. No more Sir Slow. That's the end of you. You can't reach anything. Just gotta make sure you don't get a level 2 kill, because if you do, you'll level. But hopefully Galas can put a stop to that. Galas, the mighty killer of level 1 Elvish Shamans. Who's getting near to a level himself now? 
Good on you, mate. This ghost is can be a sacrificial ghost. Can lure out some enemies. Um, and the rest of these units up here I'd rather not sacrifice. So I'm just going to reorientate my defences a bit. So yeah, well maybe you, you could fight that archer. I don't think you'll be in too much danger if you do that. to do what the hell you want and I think that means I can send you to sneak up on this blue village at the back which is unguarded You couldn't even kill it. Uh, well, my more experienced ghost did make it. Left flank. Um... Dead. And I think that's probably enough for that. And Malkeshar can go and get some health, and everyone else can retreat back. I like the way I've still got um, still got a little peasant who hasn't got any experience alive over here. No one even deigned to attack him last turn. Right, going through the woods is hard when you're undead, I know. And I, can, I should be able to mop up these guys too. Not daytime yet, so it's not your best time. Uh, do I want to feed this experience to Galas or to Elinia or to a ghost? Oh, who wants the experiences? Oh, it's all too much for me. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Galas hasn't haven't had an after maximum level advancement yet. I think it's probably best if I give it to him. One more and he's there. Okay. Now I'm going to need some flamey flame to deal with these people. Some XP 
experience for you, very nice. No one attacked this ghost. I, I called this the sacrificial ghost, but no one even bothered. Next turn, do the flyby. Oh no! Okay, so far unit strap unit spam seems to have been a good strategy for this campaign. It's daytime. None of these units need to die, none of them particularly need to live either. for a linear. I'll put the two of you in harm's way. I don't want you to be in harm's way. Alas! Kill another shaman for me. Oh, this is like, yes, I'm such a badass. Okay, I can get more resistance, I can get more melee damage. These all seem like good options, uh, but I think, just so that the sprite doesn't confuse me anymore, I'm going to go for the hunter slowing attack. He's still got, I mean, his experience is, his health is actually not that great, so I have to worry about him dying a bit more than I have to do about the others. Everyone else retreat back. Form a pointless defensive line for the last two minutes of this scenario. I want to leave you there though, because uh, sit on that house. I don't think they'll go for you, but they might. Flyby time. Okay, can't quite get to the house this turn. Yoink! 
<laughs> Cowards. I mean, I could understand if they had enough fighting at this point. Oh, come on, yeah, kill my skeletons, that's what I want. Good. All is right with the world on this flank. And here we've got some elves. doesn't quite get that last yoink. Okay, good stuff. Oh, you're close to a level. Don't want you to kill anyone else. Final turn. You stay where you are. Most of you stay where you are as well. Um, yeah. The bat can die now, so... <laughs> nah. Cool, pest control! There we go, pest control. And the last skeleton archer bites the dust. And ooh, green's going up there. Green's going for the green's going for the eco. Elves, stop this brutal bloodshed. You have slaughtered many innocent northerners, humans, orcs, and elves alike. This dreadful display breaches the treaty we signed with Lord Galas. We do not listen to human sub people. Then you shall listen to your own authorities. I came as soon as I could to bring order to this chaos. You have not only disobeyed the will of your former leader, Lord Gallas, you also ignored the advice and commands of Elinia, the Lady of Light herself. In light of these events and the terms of the treaty, the Grand Council has decided to banish the elven kind from the northern country. You shall put an end to your civil war and prepare to leave our territory before five days have passed or we shall order our own troops to deal with you. We do not want to do this, and we are well aware that you are at a numerical disadvantage. Apologies for the terrible accent work. Um, the, yeah, Old Northern Irish is not my best. <clears throat> Did one of your kind kill the puny lord of these rebels as part of a ruse to banish us from the forest then? Listen, woesborn scum. Enodian was slain by no elf, human, or orc. 
We have good reasons to think that the Chaos Empire sent forth their mercenaries for the purpose of causing this revolt and sending us all to our doom, but we are not letting that happen. At least not today. This is not fair. Why should we pay for crimes committed by outsiders? Your hands are not clean, Elf. How do you even dare to ignore that fact in front of the bearers of the law? It is true. We have spilled much elvish blood with this fight. Galas and I shall leave these lands as soon as we can. What? And how are we going to travel to Zoftanol Isle then? I swear that my people will never forget this, the most vile of treacheries. I shall withdraw my troops and my people from this accursed country today, but I do intend to return someday to demand proper justice. If the Lady of Light is willing to depart from these lands to never return because of our own misdeeds, then we shall abandon the country as well. Come with me, men. Elinia, can you tell us your plan? There is a port to the west in the Bay of Tirigaz. It's controlled by orcs, but perhaps we can find a way to bribe them so they lend us ships and provisions. It is the only port that doesn't belong to the Araguaithi nowadays. This is far. We shall go to Tirigaz then. But how will we determine the location of Zothanol Isle? That will be my job to do. All right, very hefty amount of bonus gold. I am liking that. Um, that scenario was a bit easy, to be honest. Especially in the last 10 turns or so, didn't really feel challenged. Um, and given that this is normal difficulty and the rest of the campaign can be fairly challenging, uh, I guess I would like to see a bit more of a challenge there. But the, the narrative is fun. The defense situation, the setup is fun. The map is very well designed. So, yeah not complaining. And I guess those villages that I stole with the bats and the ghosts, they were just Northern Alliance villages. Um, so, <laughs> sorry Northern Alliance, you can have them back now. The perpetrator was a bat who has since been killed, so it's all good. And that's it from me. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and comment and maybe even subscribe. And I'll see you next time for Scenario 4.